Hello everyone, welcome to BISP Solutions. I am Preeti, working as Oracle Fusion Functional Consultant. So this is the continuation video of our last session. In the last session, we have discussed what are the basic setup that you are required to be configured in the payable module for the integration with the projects. And in today's video, we will see how to create the invoice and how to push the cost from the payables module to the project module. So we will directly move to our application and today we will start with creating the invoice. Now go to the home page and then click on the payables tab and from the payables tab you have to go to the invoices tab. Go to the task panel here. Then click on create invoice. Select the supplier here. So we have created PPM01 in our last session. Give the invoice number here. Now extend the lines. Now how system will get to know that the invoice that you are creating, the cost of that invoice need to be pushed in the project module. Now in, at the line level, you have to give the project information. Give the amount here. Select the distribution set. Now at the line level, you have to mention the project detail. You can see here. So you have to give the project number. Then you have to give the task number. You have to give the expenditure item date and expenditure type and expenditure organization. So fill out the details related to your project. Now select the task number, for which task number you want to create the cost. So I have taken four task number. In the expenditure item date, you can select the date. By default, it is taking today's date and uh, I have created the invoice uh, of today's date. So I am taking it as 16-5-23. Select the expenditure type. Let's take it as airfare and then select the expenditure organization here. So while creating the invoice, you have to mention the details of your project. Now you have to validate this invoice. So go to the invoice or actions and from there you have to click on validate. So we have an invoice of the same amount. That's why application is uh, asking you to confirm. Again, go to invoice actions and then click on validate. So our invoice is validated now. Again, go to the invoice actions and you have to post to ledger to this invoice. That is from papers, it will post to your general ledger. You can view the accounting from here. So this is the invoice detail. You can see the bifurcations of the amount. Now click on done. And click on save and close. So we have created the invoice. 
first we have to uh, configure the table's basic setup that are required for the project integration and then you have to create the invoice now we will move to our project module to see how to import the cost of the payables to the project module so here we i have logged in with the user who have all the roles related to project module so now go to the home page and then go to the cost workbench area go to the task panel here and then click on import cost so this is the process that you have to submit for the import cost from the payables module to the project module now here you have to give the business unit so i am working in this business unit only so i am not making any changes now what should be the process mode it should be importing and processing transactions transaction status let's take it as all status now what should be the transaction source from where you are importing the cost so we have created the invoice in the payables module so here in the transaction source you have to select the module as payables let's expand this you can see these are the modules from which you can import the cost to the project module so right now i have created the invoice in the payables module so i am selecting it as oracle fusion payable module this is the transaction source now whether you want to do it for all the project or you want to do it for the specific project so let's take it for the specific project so we have created the cost for the ppm01 project number and also you have to give the expenditure item date so we have taken 16th may in our invoice and the same date you have to take it here so whether you want to generate the report in summarize way or details so let's take it as details so we have fill out all the mandatory information and now we have to submit this process click on okay so we have submitted the process there are two ways to see the status of this process one is you can go to the schedule processes from the tools you can see here you have to go to the navigator and then you have to go to the tools and from tools you have to go to the schedule processes and also this is the project dashboard in the overview you can refresh this icon and then uh, you will see all the status of the process that you have submitted so you can see here we have submitted the process and this is the report that the uh, application has generated click on it and then click on republish let's open it in the html format so this is how system generate the report so there are no warnings and errors there are successful transactions let's close it now let's go to the projects for that you have to go to the project financial management so this is the project for which we have created the invoice now click on it and then click on manage financial project plan So we have created the cost for the uh, task.
task number four. Let's expand it. You can see here the cost that we have created through invoices and we pushed that cost to the project module. So this is the cost that we have created through invoices and uh, pushed to the projects module. So in this way, you can create the invoice. Then from invoices, you can push the cost of that invoice to the projects module. Again, go to the cost workbench area. And you can see the same cost in the managed project cost. Give the project name here. Click on search. So you can see here, this is a cost that we have created through the invoices uh, or you can see through the payables module. In this way, you can see. So you have seen, first we have uh, configured the basic setup for the payables module. And then we have created the invoice. And from the projects module, we have imported the cost through the payables module. So in this way, you will integrate the cost from the payables module to the projects module. Thank you so much for watching the video.